What's up everybody? My name is CJ Face and welcome to my vlog channel. If you're looking for my main channel, link is in the description. Go check that out right now. I'm here alone at the Honeycut Farm and most of you know that a lot of crazy and batshit bad things have happened here. I brought my uh, side by side and, and my, my only purpose or intention of even coming here today was to drop this off. So I'm going to use this side by side here uh, for site work and construction purposes. Haul some things back and forth. I'm going to tear this building down and, and um, the rest of the farm as well, the house, everything down. This is kind of the beginning of the end of the Honeycut Farm. Why I'm down here, I promised you all um, last year actually, I feel even weird as shit even wanting step foot in that place right there. Um, last year I, I promised all of you that I would do either a live stream here or that I would set up security cameras. Well the problem is I have power at that house which is off down uh, the trail down that way. But I don't, gosh damn. Whew. It's like as soon as you step foot inside there, it's like something wants to just keep you. The problem is I don't have power inside of, of this main building right here where all of the really bad things happen. So I gotta get really, uh, I gotta get really creative on uh, mainly how I'm gonna put up security cameras. Do I run extension cords? Do I try and run power back here? It's it, it's not cost effective for me to run power back here, but I was also thinking, okay, what if I took a, took like a, those um, like cameras that are like motion detect, it's just the wind, I'm not trying to, uh, I'm not trying to freak myself out. Uh, if I stuck motion detector cameras up like, on all corners of the building so like up there and there and there like there's there's so many endless options what the f okay that was drug that was drug out that thing's moved that thing was always laying down wind is really starting to pick up right now. So mainly what I'm trying to do is I I need to see, all right, how long is this building, okay? How long in, in distance is it from one pylon to the next? And I need to figure out how many cameras I need covering literally every angle of the building. Cause you know like when you zoom in on a video and it gets really grainy, it happens with everything. But who's to say I don't buy 60 of those motion detector cameras when they go off or even like trail cams when they go off, even a trail cam has got to be pretty close to be clear. And even though some of you are going to comment, oh no, there's a lot of trail cams that are clear. It's like anything, they're trying to sell you on stuff, okay? They're trying to make you buy that product thinking it's the best out there on the market. But realistically, when you try these out at night, I've done so much research about this online here lately because I promise you all this. And before I bulldoze this building in, I, I will do a live stream. I, I I will at least put cameras up and when something moves, if something moves, when something moves, we'll be able to see it. Might be a complete waste of money, but I can guarantee you this, it's like a 90% chance that's not gonna be a waste in my opinion at least. Um, this place is so f***ed up. It is the absolute just most sinister place I've ever stepped foot on. And why the hell I own it, I still don't know, but it's definitely different, it's very creepy. The vibe here during the day is, is much, much different. Um, it, it's still heavy, it's still dark, and you don't want to be here. But the good thing is, is, is it, at least it's, it feels, the energy feels a little bit lighter. It's like at nighttime. I don't know if these murders happened at night here or what, what all happened. Um, it, it's just, it's dark. It is absolutely. Ow. I think the wind's blowing right now and that's what's making some of these creak noises and I'm trying not to freak myself out. Okay, I'll, I know y'all probably can't see the goosebumps on my legs right now, but... Um, mm. Mm, mm, mm. So, the main reason I came here today was number one, bring my side-by-side -side here and leave my side-by-side -side and small uh, landscape trailer here. Uh, put it in, putting it in this like really small shack up near the front gate and 
that's where it's going to be left so that way anytime i come here i can jump in that run around here while we're you know bulldozing this thing and i have a company that's going to come in and help me out with removing all of the debris from all of this picking up all this concrete it's going to cost me a lot of money to do this but i'm hoping that um i can put a housing development here uh it is it is not necessarily probably one of the smartest things but i'm, I'm trying to uh recoup some of the some of the investment that i've that i've got here at least and uh i didn't show you my new truck but i i would drove my truck back here but i, I just got a new one i'll show you that here at the end of the vlog um but uh, it's so muddy back here like there's so much um site work that has to be done in order for for me to put a housing development back here it's it's ridiculous really so um Another reason I want to come here is uh, I, I wanted to basically see if I can find what in the hell hit me in the head. Whatever it was, it, it was, I don't know if it was an object, I don't know if it was an entity or what the hell it could have been. To me, when, when that initial hit happened, it literally just wiped me off the ground. Like, not my feet slipped out from under me, but when it hit, it just... I felt like I was lifeless for a couple of seconds there. Um, kind of blanked out a little bit in, in this general area. I don't exactly know where. And once I once I blanked out, it was um, I, it was tough. This is heavy being here, y'all. Really, really heavy being here. What in the hell could have hit me? Um. So I was bleeding and oh gosh, in the back of my neck. And um, my hair's kind of growing out, but there was a mark right here for like two or three weeks. And uh, holy shit. Okay. Good gosh. That could have been it. It could have been anything. I mean, this is kind of kind of dumb like if this was all cleared out and there was an, an object so I was standing right about here I was messing with my camera and this is where Sonny was yanked to the ground he landed on this mesh and box right here and I'm telling you guys this is like he's he, he's he's still messed up from this guys like he's not this is not something that like you're okay and like mentally recovered from two days later or even a week later he had tripped and fallen and he uh he got scraped up pretty bad um his whole entire like forearm on i can't remember if it's his right or if it's left forearm was just scraped all to hell um kind of a again it's uh not a lot of good stuff happened here guys it really hasn't I mean when you see all this trash out here like I mean obviously the end of the farm it was not respected in its, in its, in its later days and um, you know truth be told I think it's uh, pretty obvious that some bad stuff happened here and I don't know if it's just like the spirits wanting to be heard or their story told or what damn it hey, the wind is really starting to pick up now one of the things that doesn't really make sense about this farm is uh is almost just the way of the layout like it's just all so spread out like any farm that i've ever seen or been to besides this one um, all the all the stuff is so close like there's there's three other big buildings that are completely empty um, there's like literally nothing in it there's like no junk or anything in it there's the house there's the little shed up there at the front gate um, to me I don't I don't quite understand why the layout is like this unless there's a purpose behind it maybe back in the day they had a purpose for this I will be putting some more artifacts up uh, from the honeycut farm uh, on shopmotivated.com. I do want to let you all know that 
uh, coming up on Thanksgiving night, which is November 26th, 2020, at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. I will be doing a live stream at my office at Motivated. And um, you can order stuff right off the website. It's going to be like literally like 50 to 75% off of everything because to me, you all have supported me emotionally, um, uh, view-wise on these videos. I mean, it's been insane. And it's time for me to give back to all of you. Uh, who have supported me and watched my videos and wanted to buy the merch and um, you know I'm, I'm taking a loss on some of this stuff and then some of it I'm, I'm making a couple dollars on but uh, this is about putting merch in all of your hands that have been wanting to maybe you couldn't afford it at that time or whatever it might be maybe your brother or your sister would love some motivated merch you know somebody who needs to pick me up that's where those rise and grind hoodies come right into play um, I literally would wear one every single day as soon as I got them um, I've only got four of them in my name, even though I own the company, but I'm wearing this one. This is the old school, just clean cut, motivated hoodie. And I just wanted to say that um, life is always going to be changing. We're always going to face trials and tribulations. We, you've gone through the pandemic. You survived the pandemic. Whether you survived it by an inch or a mile, damn it, you survived it. Like you're stronger than what you think you are. Us as human beings, we have a natural instinct in order to try and survive. It, it's literally a natural instinct and uh, you're born and you're bred with it and it gets passed on from generation to generation to generation but it's it's that instinct of whether or not you use it or not i know some people I, I've, I've talked to some people and i've kind of mentored people before as well and they're like i just i just don't have this uh i just don't have like the energy to go out and do it and it's not the energy it's not the energy it's all literally up here you gotta want to go and do it rise grind be better than you were yesterday even if whether it's being better by an inch or a mile you're better than yesterday and guess what you're gonna have some days you're gonna go backwards and sometimes you gotta take two step backwards to go nine steps forward it's just that's life y'all as life that's why motivated means so much to me it's not about like being a millionaire with motivated if that happens that's amazing I'm gonna do amazing stuff with that and continue inspiring each and every one of you but you know what it's really about to me is about when you wake up and you put this purchase piece piece of merchandise on and you wake up and you feel motivated you feel like a different person that shit means a lot to me that shit means more to me than anything else in this world so that's why I do what I do for all of you I try to go on these adventures and push myself and continue motivating myself it's not easy doing this stuff it's not easy being here right now and I'm kind of like out of you to this farm right now I'm not trying to start anything I'm just saying like it's a big you to this farm this place has brought me so much joy pain and and emotional stress and that's why it has to go that's why it has to go and I told you in the vlog previously uh, that I was coming back here alone and I am uh, again no one's gonna know when I come but when I do I'm gonna come here I'm spending the night in this farm by myself one final time and then the bulldozer is gonna fire up the very next morning and I'm pushing through this place and I'm filming every bit of it I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna get on with my day here uh, I'm gonna start measuring out some of these poles I'm gonna get back on the side by side go back up to the front get in my truck and uh, probably start heading to like Best Buy or go on Amazon or something and try and find something to put in here and uh, I want to cover every single angle of this I even thought about mounting them like up on like the roof like looking straight down like a little bit of everything so um, a lot more work to be done here that's for sure and uh, just want to say I appreciate every single one of you all I love you all so much thank you for supporting this vlog channel and I will see you all on the next vlog or on my main channel the next video see ya